YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to stay notified. You might light up my day if you do. All jokes aside, today's video, we're putting a spotlight on the Shed's 230 watt moving headlight. So let's get into it. First thing I wanna talk about is just right out the box, how sleek this thing is, how well designed it was, how easy it is to move around and transport, bring from gig to gig. Let me show you guys our flight cases for them. So this is what we put them in, they're pretty, they're pretty helpful. So as I mentioned, this light has a 230 watt amp, making it incredibly bright, making those beams super crystal clear. These are the gobos. I'll let those cycle through for a bit. So it's got 15 main gobos, and then you can also add a prism, which kind of splits it in three. It gives you that kaleidoscope effect, and it'll spread your light across more surface area so you can cover larger spaces. And if you're wondering what that underglow blue light is, that is actually the Shed's Impact 200 watt RGB light that we're gonna be dropping a video on soon. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep us nice and motivated to keep pumping these videos out every week for you guys. And now you're looking at the 14 extra gobos that are on the second wheel. And again, these have the prism effect on them. All together, this light has 29 gobos and displays that you can choose from with different designs and effects. So this is the regular spotlight all the way zoomed out. And this is the regular spotlight all the way zoomed in. So it can get a much more narrow beam. It doesn't look like much of a difference here in the garage because it's such a small shoot from where that light is to where it's being projected. But I promise you, when you start pushing that 100 feet, 200 feet, it really changes it and it really keeps that beam either super big or super narrow. Now I'm gonna show you all the colors that are in this color wheel. It's got an eight color color wheel. It's got seven split colors and it's also got white. So pretty much any color you need, you can make happen with these. Uh, it doesn't do color mixing. So it is a color wheel. So it scrolls from one color to the next. If you want to go from blue to a color that's not right next to blue, it is going to cycle to blue. So you're going to see a couple colors in between that blue and when you get to where you want to go which is not always ideal, especially when you're really trying to set a mood or really trying to dial in the moment with the lighting. So that's the, another drawback that I don't love. At this price point, no light is gonna do that. You really have to be getting into the higher end lighting for color mixing, so. Well, on this prism effect, not only can you make a big, large circular prism, but you can also make a more narrow prism where the light kind of closes in on both sides and it's more narrow up and down rather than side to side. And then obviously with the prism rotation that you can see that it's rotating around that main circle in the middle. You get this light fresh out of the box. It will come with a DMX cable. It'll come with a power con cable and mounting bracket. So that way you can hang it or fly it. I recommend the flight cases. I don't like moving any of my gear around without flight cases. It just, it's an easy way for your gear to get destroyed. But with that said, we did move these around for a little bit without flight cases and they were fine. So there is that. Let me know if there's any lights out there, especially Shed's lights that you guys wanna see videos on. I've got a great relationship with them. I can make videos reviewing, spotlighting, overviewing the products, giving you my honest opinion of them. I told Shed's when we signed up that I wasn't gonna hold back, I wasn't gonna hold punches, and that if there were things about the lights that I didn't like, I was gonna let you guys know. Like I let you know with the screens, the screens are kinda janky. I, I think they have some room for improvement on the screens. Other than that, everything's well built. I have no real issues with the light. They are a little loud. The fans, when you turn them on, are loud, but in a space where you're gonna be playing music, it's unnoticeable. It's kind of irrelevant. But if you're just in your room right now, programming them, you will hear the fans. They are a little loud. If you're looking for an affordable light that you wanna like take that next step into lighting and you're not sure if you really wanna spend the big bucks on like the crazy lighting yet, this is a super affordable option that you could add to your arsenal and your company to really take your lighting to the next level, get more money from your clients, and just overall improve the quality of your events. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, check out the link in the description. I am an affiliate for them. I did get this light sent to me from them. I wouldn't ever put out a video on a product I don't like. I've had brands send me products I don't like, and I sent it back and I didn't do the video for them. But with Sheds, with this light in particular, this has been a really great product for me and we've been using them at almost all of our events. In fact, we pretty much stopped using all the other brands of lighting just because we love these movers so much. These and the 10Rs paired together, it's just been our bread and butter for the last couple months. So we also have another video coming out after the 10Rs with these Sheds blinders, these impact hit lights, 200 watt RGB LED flashlights. 
not flash, but flash. And these things have been incredible. We've been using them as impact hits to hit when, like, you know, the cymbals hit or crashes or just to blind the crowd or to get the crowd lit up. These lights have been super awesome. They actually have eight different panels that you can do effects with. So preview, again, drop a like. If we can get this video past 200 likes, we're dropping this video. So again, we've got tons of products coming. If you guys want us to review some of your lights, it's at Wyatt at EmpireStateEvents.com. If you want to know more about these lights, keep liking these videos, and I'll keep making more of them. Until next time, I'm DJ Romantics, and we'll see you in the next video.